Hey guys, welcome to another day of Vlogus. I kind of look like I live on a farm right now. I've got my sunflowers, got my little basket in the background, got my dungarees on. I found these dungarees in Topshop the other day. I'll link them in the down bar. This top is just from ASOS, if you were wondering. Doug laughs at me wearing these because he says I look like a farmer. And every time he comes home, he's like, how are the cows today? But he also says I look quite cute in them, so I don't know. I don't really care. I've wanted a pair of dungarees like this for ages. I have a couple of pairs of short dungarees, but um, I'm not a huge fan of them just because I think they make me look even younger than I am. And I know that wearing these kind of dungarees still make me look young, but I prefer the full length ones because it means I can wear them um, in the winter and in the summer. And they're a really nice color as well for both summer and winter, but this kind of color goes with kind of anything you put with it. I think partly as well because I'm naturally very petite that with the shorts, my legs look really skinny. And I like that with these, my legs don't look as skinny because they're just a bit baggier and they cover my legs up. In a way, they're more flattering on me, but obviously the zone, you know, dungarees are only so flattering. They're not, you know, the most flattering of item to wear. I don't know. I like them. I prefer them on me. I think they just make me look a little bit less skinny, which is normally what most people don't want. They want clothing to make them look smaller, but I don't know. I just, I like these. Anyway, why am I going on about dungarees? It's about 10 or 11 now. I have spent the morning editing my picnic video that I filmed the other day and I'm still editing it. It was at about 17 minutes when I've just sort of done the rough edit and I can't have it 17 minutes long so then I've been going through it again. It's about 14 minutes long now. <sighs> it's still so long. That's basically what I've been doing for the last four hours. I've been doing that since I got up at six o'clock this morning. My hair is still slightly damp from yesterday. I washed it last night and I just let it air dry. Still a bit damp. I will um put hair dry through it quickly later and then curl it but for now it's looking like this. I'm gonna bring my laptop into the living room now because I've just been in bed editing um, but now I'm dressed I should probably get out of bed and take my laptop into the living room plus I need to charge in. So yeah I'm just going to edit more and let's see how far I can get with this video and once it's edited and I've done the thumbnail and I start to upload it, then I can actually get ready for the day. Today is just gonna be full of editing, planning videos, and all that jazz. And then the next couple of vlogs should be very fun because on Friday I've got a YouTube party at Google, and then on Saturday we have some in the city. I'm gonna vlog those two days, and Friday will go up on Saturday, and Saturday will go up on Monday. My parcel from Planet Organic came. Why did I say that so weirdly? Planet Organic. Let's open it. It's nothing majorly exciting. It's just some avocado oil and some salt. Oh, it's really hard to do one handed. Me, 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 me. Open, 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 open. Crazy lady with a knife. <laughs> Blimmin' egg, this salt is gonna last me so long. Oh, get out, get out. Oh, they're all in, they're all in my salt. <laughs> get out. This salt is gonna last me flipping ages. This is fine milled pink Himalayan salt crystals. In here, oh, it's like a lucky dip. In here is my avocado oil. Hang on, oh my goodness. Why do I make life so hard for myself? No, oh, it's all on the floor. This is the avocado oil that I use. I'm gonna clear up this mess and then get on with the editing. I've almost done the voiceover and I've managed to get the video down to 11 minutes 40. Let's see if I can get it to 10 minutes. It's almost three o'clock and I'm still editing. I've been editing since half six this morning and I'm, I'm having fun, like it's cool, I'm not complaining. But I don't think um, there's any point in me getting ready for the rest of the day. Even though I spent all day yesterday in the house listening, re-watching it over, listening to it with headphones on just to make sure that the music 
um, and the voiceover and everything is cool for headphone users and making sure that me talking in the introduction and also the voiceover is all the same level and the music's consistent and all that jazz because there's nothing worse than having to constantly sort of adjust your um, volume as you watch the video because that's something that should happen in production but yeah that's what i'm doing now oh my goodness i'm feeling kind of stressed right now <sighs> oh my god calm down why do i always cry when i don't have makeup on it makes my face look so bad oh i've gone so red video is done really happy with it it's uploading now it's all cool. I'm watching rabbit videos on YouTube. <laughs> no, I don't watch cat videos. Like most people, I watch rabbit videos. Basically, Doug and I were meant to move next week. I've been stealing Doug's crisps. Whoops. Oh, I don't want to go into all of it now, but um, place we're meant to be moving into. We're renting again, we're not buying it, but it's newly been remortgaged and the tenant that's in there left already. That's cool, that's fine. But something has held up the mortgage and everything so we can't get the keys and can i just you know re-say this we're renting not buying you know it's our new landlord's problem with the whole mortgage and it's all cleared but they can't get the keys yet and so they said to us we might not be able to move in for it could be a week or it could be a month so naturally I emailed my landlord and I said, look, this is what happened. Can we have an extension of another month? Obviously we'll pay a rent for, you know, another month. We've not had any viewings for the last week and a bit, which makes me think they've agreed a let for new people to move in here, which is kind of scary because this time next week, new people will be living in here. So obviously I emailed my landlord and she just called me back and said, we can't like, it's not our problem we can't, um, you've, you know, you've given in your notice and obviously I get that, but also I was told I would have a home to move to, that's why I handed in my notice and that they've got new tenants moving in and they've already, you know, done the deposits and all that. And I was like, but I have nowhere to go. I have nowhere to live. Like, even if we moved into Doug's parents' house, like there's nowhere for me to go in my mum's flat cause it's quite small. Well, it's an apartment, but um, one of the rooms is completely out, it, which is my old bedroom because there was a huge leak in there and it's been fixed. So um, there's not a room for me to stay. Obviously, if it came to the point where I was homeless, then geez, yeah, of course they would let me and Doug sleep on the sofa or the living room or whatnot. But it would be more practical for us to go live at Doug's house well, Doug's parents' house because it's a lot bigger and there's his room there and stuff. And obviously, that's not really an option because I have things like a sofa and a TV and a coffee table, not even including all my, like, clothing and everything. Like, there's nowhere, you know, there's nowhere to put it. Um, and obviously, I have these videos to do and, you know, there's so much going on this month. There's so much going on this month and also, um, oh there's something else which I still can't tell you about because I'm still waiting to hear on the date that it's going to happen but it's basically going to take up a lot of my time on top of that. So obviously I've got some in the city this weekend and then next weekend I've got V, v Festival and at some point over those next two weeks or three weeks something big, something big is happening where I'm going to have to be at someone else's beck and call and look after them. Oh my god, there's just so much happening. And I can't do all this. So basically my landlord said I have to be out by the 19th. I don't know where we're gonna go. Like, I know we can go to Doug's parents, that's fine. We can go to Doug's parents, it's fine. But it's just not practical at all. Like, I don't need this right now. You know, I can't film at all when we're there. So that means I literally have to get the next month worth of videos done this week, which I planned on doing, but it, it's just even more pressure now to do it. I do plan over the next two days to film about five or six videos. So that's, that's kind of enough to keep me going. It might be okay. Either way, I'm not gonna be a homeless. Like, I feel like I could name this vlog we're gonna be homeless and get lots of views but yeah i'm just i'm not all for that i hate it when youtubers do that they like put a title that's obviously it's common sense to put a catchy title why wouldn't you but when it doesn't really have any um connection to the video or it's literally like one tiny minor little connection 
I'm like, why? Well, I know why they've titled it that because it's it's clickbait or whatever it's called but yeah it annoys me i'm not one of those youtubers but yeah in my head i'm thinking i could name this we're gonna be homeless and people be like oh my god but i'm probably just gonna name it as like stressful news or something i don't know because it is it is bloody stressful news okay i've had my little cry now brilliant okay breathe okay there's nothing i can do about it i'm gonna give doug, doug a call let him know this is what i always say to myself and honestly guys it really works so try it like out of all the little quotes and inspirational things that i have read and heard that have made me think oh you know that makes you feel good but then you kind of forget about it the one thing that's always stuck with me and i don't remember where i heard it first but it was will this matter to you in a year's time will you still be upset about it in a year's time will it have any significance to you in a year's time and whenever i think or say that out loud i think i feel better like the other day i got a comment that really upset me and i just thought am i gonna remember it in a year's time no i'm not so whatever and like right now i'm thinking you know what we don't completely have nowhere to go it's just literally like stressful not being able to just move into somewhere straight away like if we have to go to doug's parents I don't know where the bloody hell we're gonna put all our stuff you know little things like if we have to live there for a couple of weeks like little things like cooking like i you know i want to get my own food and then where do i put it and then i feel like i'm getting in the way and oh, i don't know this chunk out of my eyebrow is doing my head in yeah but i just say you know we will have somewhere to go it will be sorted and even two months time will it be an issue no so it's fine it's all good okay so we're gonna be a week's time so how many more vlogs is gonna be in this flat so today saturday's vlog friday monday's vlog and wednesday's vlog will be in three more vlogs in this flat three or four? Oh, i don't know three or four vlogs left in this flat makes me feel quite sad because this other flat isn't as nice it's more spacious and it feels a lot cozier but it doesn't have the characteristics and the the kind of vibe that this place has because this place is a converted victorian house so it has all you know the lovely fireplace and all the lovely um stuff along the ceiling sorry about that little like i didn't know what to do i i was like get my vlog camera talk to you guys because i don't know what to do anyway i'm gonna call doug i'm gonna get on with the thumbnail for this video oh i haven't even started flipping uploading it i thought i started uploading the video but i hadn't well done Rhiannon. so if life stresses you out pasta <laughs> joking i'm just having an early-ish dinner it, it's kind of like dinner time but i keep having my dinner so late just because doug hasn't been getting back from work until about half seven eight yeah i thought ow 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 <sighs> just breathed in and got a sharp pain in my chest um yeah so yeah i'm just having an early dinner and I can't think of anything that's gonna be on TV. So I'm just gonna watch some YouTube videos. I've just got some pasta that I had left over from holiday actually that I brought back with me. And there's not really much in the house and it's six o'clock now. So I can't be bothered to get ready just to then in three hours time, take my makeup off and go to bed. I've just been editing all day. I just didn't realize how long it would take me. So I'm gonna tuck into my dinner and watch some YouTube videos. It's a lot later. If I'm honest, I completely forgot I was vlogging today. I feel like I have an excuse though. Kind of sorted out the house situation. On Monday, we are gonna clear this house out, put it all in Doug's parents' garage. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna go to his parents and stay there for the foreseeable future i have today well tomorrow and the day after to film um uh, about six more videos so that will sort of keep me going until the middle of september hopefully and i've just been on the laptop trying to sort of cancel bt and water bills and things like that but they're not making it easy they make it easy for you to change the address that you're moving to but we're not technically moving to an address that i'm gonna have to pay water and all that for so yeah i'm gonna have to have a long day of making phone calls and trying to explain to them that i'm not i'm gonna be staying at my partner's parents house for the next few weeks or so so i need to like put my accounts on hold until we actually live in a place it's not making any sense i'm sure you guys don't care i'm just having some 
dozy sleep what is it called i don't know some dozy girl i think it's called from bluebird tea it's got rose lavender chamomile and something else in it's pretty tasty i've almost finished the pack and i only got it like this week but yeah so soy today's pretty much just been at home with me well i'll see you guys on saturday but technically i'll be vlogging friday um for me and it'll be a lot more fun like i said earlier doug and i are going to a youtube party at google and then the day after it's somewhere in the city and then after that <laughs> it will just be like getting the stuff out of the house it's gonna be interesting i don't know how i'm gonna upload the vlogs at doug's parents because his parents internet is even worse when it comes to uploading <sighs> and i've just realized i've got to edit this vlog by tomorrow morning to get it uploaded so it will be ready for 6 p.m tomorrow I don't know, there's just so much to do. Anyway, I will see you guys in a couple of days. Bye!